Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we have studied the surface areas of solids made of a combination of basic solids. Today, in this video, we will study the volume of solids made of a combination of basic solids. Can you tell what does volume and capacity mean? Well done! The space enclosed by an object is called the volume of that object. Capacity of an object is the volume of fluid or other object that can be filled in the interior of that object. Can you find out the volume of this pencil? Which method would you use to do this? On looking at this pencil carefully, we observe that this pencil is not a specific shape, but it is formed by a combination of some basic solid shapes. In your previous class, you have studied all these basic solid figures. Can you find out the volume of these solid shapes? Pause the video and write down the volume of these solid figures and then match your answer. Can you see that this pencil is made by the combination of a cone, a cylinder and a hemisphere? Hence, to find the volume of this pencil, we have to add the volumes of these three basic figures. Let these be the measurements of this pencil. Let us now find out the volume of these figures one by one. Can you see that the diameter of this hemisphere is 2 cm? Then what would be its radius? Correct! The radius of this hemisphere would be 1 cm. Also, we know that the value of pi is equal to 22 upon 7 or 3.14. On substituting the values of r and pi, and solving, we get volume of hemisphere is equal to 44 upon 21 cubic centimeters. Let's now find out the volume of this cylinder in the same manner. Here, the height of this cylinder is 14 centimeters. So, the value of H is equal to 14 centimeters. Can you tell what will be the radius of this cylinder? Here, you can see that the radius of these figures is same. That is, the radius of cylinder, cone and hemisphere will be equal. And hence, the radius of all of these will be 1 cm. Now, for cylinder, on putting the values of pi, r and h and solving, we get 44 cubic centimeters. Similarly, on solving for cone, we get 22 upon 7 cubic centimeters. Now, on adding the volumes of these figures, we can find out the volume of the pencil, which is 49.24 cubic centimeters. Come, let's see one more situation of combination of solids. Suppose we have this piece of wood, from which we have to take out a conical piece of radius 2 centimeters and height 10 centimeters. Can you find out the volume of the remaining piece of wood in the same way? Absolutely correct! We know that this new solid is also formed by a combination of two basic solids, cuboid and cone. 
but this time these solids are not joined. So here we will not find the sum of the volumes of these solids. Since here one solid is taken out of the other solid, so here we subtract the volume of the smaller solid from the bigger solid. And this gives us the volume of the remaining piece of wood. In this way, today we learn to find the volume of the new solid formed by a combination of two or more solids and of the solid formed when one solid is taken out of the other. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples based on this.